What's happening there guys and welcome back to another great video on our channel. There's a reason Beyonce Knowles is referred to as the Queen. She invested an entire alter ego that was just as fierce as her. The reason has remained unknown to many fans, but the truth behind it is actually quite aspiring. So without any further ado, here's the real story of Beyonce's Sasha Fierce alter ego. Number 5. Sasha Fierce, A New Side of Beyonce The singer made a name for herself as the front woman of Destiny's Child, a groundbreaking R&B group that ruled the airwaves in the late 1990s and early 2000s with songs like Survivor, Bills 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 and Say My Name. In addition to being a symbol of female empowerment when the trio released the number one hit Independent Women, Queen Bey may have been hinting at her own aspirations. Beyonce separated from her bandmates Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams in 2003 to pursue the solo career we all knew she was destined for. Beyonce then became an independent woman in her own right. With the release of her first album Dangerously in Love, Beyonce cemented her place among the top performers on the Billboard Hot 100. The singer's second album, B-Day, cemented her position as a solo star, but it was her third, I Am Sasha Fierce, that showed audiences a new side of her, a seductive but combative alter persona. Number 4. The Birth of Sasha Fierce Sasha Fierce was made famous by Beyonce Knowles in 2008 with the song, I Am Sasha Fierce. However, Queen Bey's stage anxiety, the first time she performed, is exactly where the name Sasha Fierce comes from. Beyonce admitted to being afraid and not wanting to participate in a first grade talent competition in Rolling Stone. I remember walking out and I was scared, but when the music started, I don't know what happened. I just changed. Despite her fears, Beyonce then enthusiastically sang Imagine by John Lennon to a thunderous ovation. Naturally, Beyonce took home the prize and Sasha Fierce was conceived. Number 3. Sasha Fierce was created to show her other side. Beyonce also revealed that Sasha Fierce was created in an attempt to separate her shy nature from her stage slaying image, giving her the guts to be free and sensual while performing with the release of I Am Sasha Fierce. Before the album's release, Beyonce said, Sasha Fierce is the fun, more sensual, more aggressive, more outspoken side and the more glamorous side that comes out when I'm working and when I'm on stage. I have someone else that takes over when it's time for me to work and when I'm on stage, this alter ego that I've created kind of protects me and who I really am, Beyonce said. That was Sasha Fierce, Beyonce's bold side and the self-assured character that elevates her live performances. Sasha provided fans with something Beyonce couldn't do, a stage sling alter ego who could put up some of the all-time best performances. Beyonce told Oprah Winfrey, it's kind of this character I've created over the years. Usually when I hear the chords when I put on my stilettos, I like the moment right before when you're nervous, then Sasha Fierce appears and my posture and the way I speak and everything is different. Number 2. The End of Sasha Fierce In the end, Queen Bey overcame her Sasha Fierce face by coming to terms with the stage laying lady she evolved into. Sasha Fierce is finished. I ended her, the musician said in 2010. I don't need Sasha Fierce anymore because I've grown and now I'm able to merge the two. Beyonce claimed to have gotten rid of Sasha Fierce in 2010, but it's now become apparent that she is no longer necessary. Given that it perfectly captures every aspect of her, it seems fitting that among her five solo albums, this is the one she chose to self-title. Number 1. Why Sasha Came to an End Sasha Fierce was nonetheless constricting for the same reason. Nobody really understood who Beyonce was other than the fact that she was a really brilliant and diligent performer with a terrific voice. She simply brought out Sasha Fierce when it was needed. If her first three solo albums revealed anything, it was that she was a follower of a hazy type of feminism best characterized as female power, not too focused on feminist theory, but upbeat, enjoyable, and readily danceable. However, the most famous pop diva in the world made the decision that she was sick of working inside the absurd, outdated Freudian dichotomy that frequently defines how women are considered to be sensual with the framework that gave I Am Sasha fears. On her newest and most powerful album, she decimated it song by song. The songs in that album feature 14 songs and 17 videos which had graphic imagery of Beyonce wearing pricey underwear as well as references to her fetishes. It's a study of gender and power as well as an uncompromising examination of black women's sensual agency. 
it's also an album about love in a way. It honors black women as a whole. She clearly presents the radical image of an affluent, self-assured black lady who is there to be served to as she lets her clock fall dramatically to the floor of the villa and takes one drag before stamping it out with the toe of one high heel T-strap. As a persona, Sasha Fierce served as a practical tool, a system that Sasha may use to test the waters of her sensuality in a safe and public setting while maintaining her ladylike demeanor and we're glad that we met her. Well this about wraps up our video. So let us know your thoughts about Beyonce Sasha Fierce alter ego in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, then do let us know by smashing that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos in the future. Until then, take care and goodbye.